Okay, so let's get on with the coding part. Um, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2012, like I said to you guys. Uh, you guys can use another one if you like. Um, where's Visual Studio? 2012 Visual. There it is. So, let's find blah blah. So you want to go file new project, and remember this is only my second time using um, Visual Studio, so hopefully it'll be okay. So new project, uh, you want to go new project, check out my notes, make sure we're doing the right thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want to go C++ and you want to go uh, Win32 console application, and we want to create an empty, actually go for an empty project, that'll be fine. Uh, and I'm going to call this YouTube Aimbot. Um, and that's fine, so it's Visual C++, that's fine. And we just want to OK that. OK. And just let it create the project. Um, OK. It's fine. Uh, and first thing we want to do is we want to create our uh, thing for our hackprocess.dll. So, like I said to you guys, the file required should be on the first, in the first um, link where you can download it from. Uh, hopefully you've got that. Uh, hopefully you downloaded the beginning. Otherwise, just quickly go back to the uh, first tutorial and download the file there. So I'm going to add that file. So I'm going to do a new item. You guys can do existing item. Actually, I'm going to do existing item as well. I'll take it from a previous hack. That way you guys can see exactly how it's done. Uh, I'm just going to open the folder where it's located. So I'm going to pull that from my folder. You guys can choose whatever folder you've got and just go um, hack process and we're going to add that to our list of things and like I said to you feel free to read the comments but all this does is it allows us to do the writing into uh, CSS and it allows us to do a couple of other things so we'll ignore it throughout the whole thing because it, it does all what, that we needed to do so close that and we're going to create a new source file we're going to go new item and this is going to be our main.c++ so I don't know why they call it source.c++ in the new one but I guess it doesn't matter so we go back into that and what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to code all the um, all the um, variables first, and then we'll move on to the other stuff. So get that out of the way for now. So I'm going to start off coding variables. So just follow this along with me, guys. Get a bit comfortable here. Uh, so we're going to go include Windows dot h. It's first thing you want to include. Oops. Close that. Include Windows dot h. Hopefully this is zoomed up in enough for you to see make sure you're watching this in 1080p if you can and then we're going to include io stream because we're going to use quite a few things from that uh, include math.h which is also useful stuff math.h and um, include hack process which is the thing that we just created make sure it's quotes there uh, what have I done wrong there do, 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 do. hack process uh, dot h hopefully find out what I did wrong there uh, yeah you better be able to so explore solution explorer what did I call that there go back to main yeah that's fine include hack process dot h cannot open source file we'll find out what's going on in a second rebuild solution Uh, cannot open source file hack the process h uh, <laughs> yeah I think this is something to do with Visual Studio 2012 being an asshole but leave the error there for now and I'll fix it um, later on as we're going down the code we also want to include um, vector which is do we need to include vector I believe we do for something later on I don't know if this is something I needed just for a second or not but I'm sure we need it include um, Algorithm. Just going to zoom into this just so I can see it better. And we're just going to start declaring our variables. Uh, fuck off, Ferris. Get that. Get rid of that for now. I really don't understand why that's happening. Include hack dot process. Just going to copy this line quickly to find out what I did wrong. Yeah, it's just being an asshole. Fucking Visual Studio 2012. I really should have tested this before making the tutorial, but it doesn't matter. We're going to fix it anyway, somewhere down the line. Alright, so um, you want to first declare the C hack, C hack process uh, F process. 
and that's what we'll use to do all our calculate not calculate all our connecting to the um, to um, CSS so using namespace std fine and we're gonna go define f6 key this is only so we can delete um, f6 key uh, so we can close the game the hack when we want to define right mouse apologize for my retarded typing 0.02 not 0, 0.0 times uh, int num of players equals 32 we'll give it the default value of 32 and we're going to go constant d word dw player capital that player count uh, equals so if we go into our addresses we can see that the player count is this address so it's engine plus that so let's just add that value zero times that because we'll have to remember that it's engine that's fine um, constant d word player base so constant just keep copying these so we don't have to keep writing the same code 12 times constant d word uh, dw play account okay now what time is it 12 30 I have to get lunch in a minute um, d word dw um, uh, where are we so we've done play account uh, we need to do player base which is very important important uh, dw player uh, base equals zero times and as you can see we've got this stored here um, player base is this one zero times that value uh, we know it's client.dll and we're going to store the next one which is um, so d word so dw team offset so what team um, are we part of team offset equals zero times 98 which is something we found out very early on same with health dw health uh, which is zero times 90 and do a quick test. So once I've declared all variables, we'll go back and find out why hack process is being a fucking asshole. I'm sure a lot of you guys that use uh, 2012, you know the reason why, but I'll, I'll have to figure it out. Um, uh, DW health, which is fine. Actually, just going to check something quickly. Header files. It's there. Yeah, it's there. What's wrong with that? Uh, hack process. That page. Resource files. Source. Yeah, it's just being a dickhead. Never mind. All right. So DW health. Copy that again. The next one is DW pause. That's something we found out. Do you remember the? Uh, hopefully you remember the position. That's our place coordinates. We found it to be, yeah. So X Y Z offsets that one there. So times twenty five C. Hopefully that's fine. Um, and then we're going to do constant D word. Uh, oops, that one. And we want to go for entity player base entity player uh, base and then will be equal zero times uh, no point in writing this when you've got the data and that's the enemy's information so let's just replace that with zero times and that's where we find all our enemies and the loop distance which is something we found as well is entity loop distance equals zero times ten of course there's millions of ways ways of doing this this is just an example guys um, you can write it however you like I know some of you guys have different variable uh, naming systems and I understand that because I have my own as well and and the final one is um, constant D word um, DW ang rotation so if you remember that we did the angle rotation and that's what will help us write to um, is that is that the one we stored as angle rotation let's have a look here just to confirm check out my notes uh, yes this value here I should have called it um, but that's the angle rotation zero times that value it's an engine DLL variable um, and that's all our variables declared I'm just gonna do a quick pause to find out what's wrong with that and then we'll continue okay so I'm pretty sure what the problem is the problem is that I added um, I added my solution the header file from a previous one so if I go here I'm gonna copy this and get rid of it um, solution explorer the way we should have done it so copy all the text there if you have the same problem exclude that from project add the header file 
Uh, it's called hackprocess.h, I believe. Hackprocess. And just copy all the code in there. And the reason why that was happening is just because uh, it was pulling from a folder that's miles away and it's not actually part of the project. And that makes sense. So as you can see now, the error is gone. So pretty straightforward. It was, it was a bit of a dumb move of me to do. So it, it wasn't really the Visual Studio's fault. All right. So uh, let's uh, get this going. All right. So we have angle rotation. And what we're going to do now is... We've got the variable set. We're just going to create our structs now. Please bear with me, guys. This tutorial requires a tiny bit more, um, a tiny bit more uh, programming than the previous ones. But hopefully, we'll be able to get this working uh, nicely. Okay. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to create and declare our structs, and after that, we'll get to the nice bit of code, and hopefully, we won't make any mistakes, and uh, we'll get everything working beautifully. So let's just. Uh, remain focused and hopefully I won't screw this up. Alright, so struct uh, play my player. So this is all stuff you'll be familiar with if you've done the previous tutorials. Oops, put space there by accident. Uh, my player underscore t, fine. Um, and what we're going to do then, what's wrong with that? Expected to shut up. That's what you expected. Bloody thing. Yes. So we do my player here and close that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go and declare, declare our usual stuff. Now, if you've done the previous tutorials, you've got the uh, code already. So you just copy and paste that and change it a little bit. And that's lucky you, but I have to write it down. So int team. So it stores out what team are we on. Because we need to see if our enemy matches our team. And, and to make sure we don't shoot our friendlies. So health. How much health have we got? I don't think that's incredibly useful, but... It can be, I guess. Position, where are we located on the map? So that's our X, Y, Z. And then we have void read information. Uh, and this will be used to uh, pull our player data. So we're going to go read process memory. And that's where we need to include windows. Read process memory. And we're going to go F process, which we declared at the top. Hopefully you, re you remember that. Dot handle process. Um, and then we do pbyte pointer open and close f process dot um, let me think f process dot um, d word client which is fine let's do a quick check there oops screw that up for myself like an idiot f process and that's uh, is it d word client yes plus player base uh, base which we declared at the top, DW player base. Let's move this up a tiny bit. DW player base, and then we say comma and local C local player. So what we're doing here is we're simply finding out where our player base address points to, not points to actually, where it's located. Right? And then from there we can find out all the offsets. Size of D word, because that's what we're pulling. And comma zero. And close that. Boom. So just going to zoom out a tiny bit so you guys can see that. Hopefully that makes sense. And we'll go back to zoom in town uh, right now. Uh, actually, just do a little thing there just to, to get you guys to see the whole thing. So the second one we're going to read out from here onwards, we just read the uh, the player offset. So um, again, we go, f we go for C local player now. So here's C local player. And we pull that data from there because we're reading from his location plus whatever offset we have. So, did I screw something up or did I do it wrong, do it wrong there? So, if I go... Sorry, same process. I was pasting in the wrong place. That's the beauty of copy and paste. So, we paste that there. See local player plus these values. So, the first one's going to be DW team offset, as you can see there. And then we store that into team, okay, and team. Um, which is fine, and it's an integer here, so let's not make the mistake of leaving it as a D word. We then l go into these next few, so th this one is uh, the health, we install the health, so DW uh, health, health offset, okay, fine, it's an integer as well, we pull that health information, which is interesting stuff, and then the last one is our position, DW pause, I think, yep. Uh, and see local and this is a float by the way but it's uh, an array so we need to pull three values so pull three floats from there so all it does is pulls the f 